Because it's going to be right foot forward, natural stance, and I'm going to turn my feet in. Both feet? Both feet. Yep. Perfect. I want you to take this now in a really slow manner, and I'm going to, I'm going to now just go back into my swing. I'm just going to go there and come back. And go there and come back. Nice and easy. Perfect. Come back. And go there. <coughs> and come back. And go there. And come back. And go there. And come back. Nice job. And go there. And come back. Now, I'm going to let you take that into your follow through, but you'll only come to there. So you'll go there and go through. And go there. And go there. And go there. Nice. And go there. Good. Now, you'll go R, W, I. R, W, I. Perfect. Got it weird, isn't it? <laughs> now, you're just going to go with your backswing again. But what I'm going to do this time is this. I'm going to change, and this is what you do all the time with club selection, I'm going to change the triangulation, and triangulation just means the height, the distance, or the direction. So I'm going to get you this, and, and you call it, you give it a name. I want you to take it into somewhere around here. You might call that a flat, you might call that a normal, and you might call that a steep. Okay. Yep. Is that alright? Yep. So let's go with R, W, I, and I'm going to go into a flat. So let your hip, let your whole body go into a nice, easy, perfect, and come back. And now I'm going to go into a normal, perfect, and now I'm going to go into a steep. Perfect. Flat. Normal. It wasn't your husband. <laughs> and steep. Good. Now what I want you to do when you do that, I want you to let your hip come, your left hip, just let it come as you go into that movement again. Flat. Ah, oh, nice. Normal. And steep. Great. Now, I'm going to do the same last three, but I want you to let your head come around and follow the golf club. Flat. Ah, oh, beautiful. Good. Perfect. Okay. Go back into a normal stance. And I want you to go into a golf swing. Did you notice, John Pauly? The hips moving. Mm -hmm. oh. What did you notice about her arch? Oh, it's just, it's just like a Boom. Yeah. Just popped up. Yeah. How did it feel? Um, I can't really tell. That's okay. No, no, that's okay. I can't tell either because I'm not that good with, with the swings. When we review the, the, the video, you'll be able to say, okay, you might be able to. But what we're looking at is how does the body accept energy and how does it dissipate it and how does it allow that body then to move. That foot and your hip, you just, you didn't look to me as fast through the backswing, but you looked more fluent through the follow through. Would that be a fair statement? Mm -hmm. You looked like this was just easier to get to yep. and you just followed through just through okay. beautiful rhythm. Yep. So that would be nice to have a look at. Yep. How did it feel doing that stuff? Um, what could you feel? Oh, a lot of, a lot of time to sit. What lines are they? What lines are we talking through here? Deep, deep front. Deep front. What else? Functional front. Functional front. Functional back. So whatever the functional front does, the functional back does. It's a relationship. Deep front line. Big toe right through into the hyoids. Right through to the diaphragm, pericardium, right back into the pelvic floor. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? That now you could feel this. Yeah. It's not us telling her this is what you should feel. The body. And her have a great relationship. She now knows, Anna now knows that, wow, I can feel that restriction there. <laughs> but the thing about us is, what did we see to start? We couldn't see your arch moving when we first got you to move. Mm -hmm. The reason why I brought you to a golf club was, one, emotionally, you love to be there. And you, and you deserved it. You've got a beautiful swing. Secondly, 
your body's really comfortable there. So it enables us to see what happens up the chain. But realistically, thirdly, what it enables me to do now is to take your body where it's comfortable, where it's happy, and just give it really gentle extensibility into the areas that didn't want to move that well. And I did it using stuff that you do every day. That's pretty cool, because yeah. now the body goes, I can do this. So if I got you doing something really weird, the body would say, well, you know, use this. So let's do this. I'm going to put you back into that RWI again. Actually, I'm going to put you RWB. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to put this golf club, I'm going to put the end of the club there, and I'm going to put the head there. And all I want you to do is this. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to drive that club in that motion there. I'm going to get you to still look at the golf ball. That's not really there. Perfect. Now, do me a favour, and I want you to straighten both arms for me if you can. That's it. Drive. Great work. And come back. And drive. And come back. And drive. And come back. Good. Now I'm going to put you in R, N, E. Perfect. <clears throat> Perfect. Now once again, this is great because this is all Gary Gray's triangulation. The brilliance of his mind has allowed us to now change what happens to the feet, the hips and the thoracic spine. But we're now stressing the myofascial system through rhythm and timing. We're stressing it in a good way. We're trying to get it to upregulate, to turn on, to stiffen, so it stabilises. Is that narrow or not? Oh, narrow. Good question, JP. Hold on. Good. Right, go again. Yeah. <laughs> At this stage, Anna's saying, hmm, these guys are definitely on some sort of dope. Mm. Great work. Good. Now, I'm going to get you to take your head with your hand as you go back. So now, the nose is driving your hip into more motion. I want to see motion yeah. in the hip. Yeah. Twice as much. Mm. Perfect, have a rest. <laughs> this really isn't 100 push ups, is it? But can you feel the change there? Yeah, yeah, there's a, a lot through there. A huge amount through there. Up through there and through there. What did she just describe then? The lines. The lines. So let's do this. So now we've, I've asked the left hip to give me a lot of extensibility. I want to reward it now. So I'm going to change feet. I'm going to go, I'm going to go to L. X, I'm just going to go neutral, yep. L, X, and I'm going to go E again. Perfect. And I'm going to put the club in the same hand, doing the same thing, and I'm going to do exactly the same exercise. So what am I giving the hip permission to do now? This left hip. What am I giving it permission to do by changing my foot stance? Great I'm creating more motion at the hip. Because now I've taken this foot back, it opens up and lets the hip move more. Does that make sense? I'm just giving it more ability to be able to give me extensibility from the toes to the nose. So can you see now this has to load. How does that feel? Oh, it's quite tight. Yeah. Okay, now take your head back. Catching the groin. Yeah, so just don't force it, just let it, let that hip relax. Let it relax. That's better. Just let it relax. So I don't want to force it. I just want to let the, 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 the subtlety of the movement gain some extensive building in the tissue, just to let it go. Good. Great work. Okay, have a walk. Once again now, you'll see how the ankle wants to come up a bit further and the toe wants to drive now into the ground. You feel yourself driving off the big toe wall? Yeah. Okay, have a swing. Bit of a workout, isn't it? Yeah. You thought you were coming for a cup of coffee in a chair. Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> nice adjustment there. Could be arch. Mm. How's it feel? Feels good, yeah. It feels like the, um, it does kind of feel like the hip can kind of rotate a bit more. Yeah. Um, how's your eye back feel? Oh, uh, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Really, haven't thought about it since before. <laughs>
So it's interesting, isn't it? We give it, we bought back a, we bought back something that you love, and all of a sudden we just gave it some gentle movement. We asked it how it felt. We asked it if it can change. And what do you think, guys? Yeah. It definitely changed. For me, and not being a golfer, the significant change was this. You, you, I to me thought you slowed down here, but your fluency through there seemed to improve, which right. sort of supports the load to unload theory, doesn't it? Yeah. So let's have a look now at the swings and see what goes on. 